This is Radio Tay, the fuzz. Only we know, and, and others like us know, that it's on the way out. So what do we do? You know, we're, we're liquidating our stocks because there's no more new things coming in. But we take what we do, we start off very slowly by increasing the price, you know, five cents here. Uh, people are just, oh, it went up five cents, you know, anyway. and then uh, six months later, ten cents, whatever. And, you know, over the course of, of four or five years, you look at the price, we, we've more than doubled the price of these, these products. And, and now word is getting out that, hey, wait, have you heard that maybe, uh, you know, these products, uh, the, it's reaching a peak, whatever, and then... And then, but we still know that people are addicted to our products, so we're fucking putting any price we want now on them. The key is for you and I, we know we'll have to close that part of our business, so we want to go out with the most money possible, right? So we're going to put it up and up and until we'll see. It's kind of like fishing. We'll see if the fish is going to bite. And they bite and we put it up and, and then we've made, at the end of it, we've made millions and millions. It's it's an exhaustible reason. It's, a, it's just simple greed. And people are so fucking addicted, they'll pay anything for their cocaine. You know, you just... You know what's schizophrenic? What? Is that at least if they use this newly printed money to invest into research for alternative, you know, not only alternative uh, uh, energy solutions, but... Uh, into think tanks that will try to determine how we're going to live our lives, mm-hmm. you know. But no, it, it's so, it's almost like the Krell, eh? It's like the Krell party went mad with this, you know. Mm. They went mad and they couldn't control the id. And we, we're mad with oil. We can't control the, this id, oil id thing, you know. It's, 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 it's fucked up our ability to think beyond oil. You know, you know like, what the... It's <laughs> 20 miles in that direction. <laughs> But it's infected. Not only are, it's it's a deep it's a deep sort of pathology. It, it infected not only our minds. It, it it affected and fucked up our ability to even even to to enable us to somehow look at this objectively now and determine what's the best course of action. We're 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 being led off, like lemmings off the cliff. And we're kind of, I think at this point, we're like just at that edge when we're falling off the, at the top edge and we're, and that whole, we're all starting to fall, you know, like yes. we're at the very top of the fall now, you know, and and, right. and, it, and it's just so sad. It's very sad. That, well, you know, that's it, the psychology of previous investments. It's so sad that, that this, we just, we're kind of, we were as a culture straight jacketed into this, you know, like, uh, well, you know... Oh, yeah. You know, parts of it are... Uh, toward the end, I, I thought it was flax and not, you know... Right. Yeah, you were out. Stupid like well, that. Well, I know what you mean. The disappointing thing is, if you're uh, apparently almost at level seven of enlightenment, and uh, why even care about fueling your car? That does... He's still addicted yeah. to the car. It's <laughs> it's beyond oil, too. It's Even if we solve the oil issue, people still like, oh, well, we'll, we'll still be... Helium 3 will still be able to... To uh, to move in our cars, you know. It's, just, Pierre, wanna, even it, it, it's. I'd like to. You know what? Let's let's be. Let, you know, you said it the other night. Let's. You know, you were talking about thinking out of the box. I mean, that's a cliche, but it's a darn good one. You know. Is it? And let's let's for one second try to think out of the box. Is it possible to live our lives without cars? You know, could we even entertain that? Even well, we we did it for millions of years, well, so. Uh, could there be another way, you know? Uh, maybe, you know, if you if all this is true with UFOs and space beings, maybe they're, in a sick way, their version of their, of our automobile is their saucers. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're running out of helium-3 or something, you know? Who That's knows? right for the I think there's relativity everywhere, you know? Mm-hmm. So who's to say that the, you know, if you subscribe to that, and let's say it's entertaining for a second that... It is true that there are space beings, and the, but you know they've evolved beyond cars. But now they're they're addicted. They they like to travel to solar systems and mm-hmm. in their uh, space saucers. You know, yeah, that wouldn't be very encouraging for yeah. for us. But that's quite something. But you know, is it? That's why I said. I mean, is it? Uh, remember, Arguignon used to ask that question too. You know, okay, there it's almost criminal in our in, in in our world. You know, let alone North America or Europe. In our world, to to, to even dare to say, could could we live without cars? You know, like, uh, is it possible? It's almost criminal. 
it's almost criminal. I mean, you, they would stone you to death. It's, it's, yeah. I, I'm tired of cars. I'm tired. I'm like, kind of. I left your place this morning, and I went into my. Tr- I'm almost ashamed of owning that pickup now. It's, it's almost painful, a shame. You know, like, I mean, it's, well, almost. It, it's. Well, that's another thing about the snow. It's like, I, I, I can't, you know, I, I have to force, I'd like to get a, a better bike. So when stu- as soon as it starts melting, when I go for Tez, I'll take my bike, you know. Right. So that's one way of, uh, you know, uh, plus it's getting expensive, eh? What, biking? Even to go to your place with my truck, it's it, it takes uh, back and forth like a sixteenth of a tank. So I got to be, I'm, I'm, I'm really aware of that. And then they were, they, they were kind of like mentioning to that, that today too in the uh, on point show there on NPR right yeah. that people will be very it's kind of interesting because it, it's a form of, of awareness of consciousness how I, much does it cost to fill up aware, 116 oh, I can't really drive to the dip and earth like I used to uh, three blocks away yeah, I know what a shame I gotta be I gotta be careful yeah you know so the positive aspect is that People will walk and get exercise. Walk, there'll be a lot more carpooling, a lot more, uh, you know, like my truck's going to, I'll only use it when I really, I'm working on a project or something, you know, when I have to, and when it's, like, my gas is paid by the client, you know, so, uh, well, I think it's a good thing, Anthony, but, you know, dare we imagine a world without cars, you know, like, uh, it's a fantasy of mine, you know. It's a fantasy, well, you know. Or, or you know, at least, you know, I'm willing to say, except far less cars, you know, That'd be <laughs> far nice. less threatening looking cars, you know, Big SUVs. smart cars, gay looking, but it's not a, it's not a Hummer, it's, it's not, I, I look, we don't need like, like four by four Dakota trucks and, yeah, well, you know, well, you're right, you're we, right, uh, we just need like regular cars, no more vin- minivans, just, you know, and then guards will, you know, people will have to make some homes have cars. two, some <laughs> homes have two cars, <laughs> your own guard, you want a guard, fucking make your own guard, you know, like, you know, I know, uh, I'm, I'm guilty of it, but, Again, Almost I, guilty. I, in my personal defense, I, I, I don't use my truck. I, 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 my, I don't know if you share my um, feeling Jeez. towards this, but I thought that was, I saw that as being extremely huge, that On Point show, because it reaches a few million people in the United States. Okay. Two, I don't know, two, three, maybe five million listeners. And uh, I thought that was pretty big because... Now it, it's it's kind of the whole reality is gaining weight now, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, and then it it just just made me think of Dan and and I could tell you uh, I got an email from a customer today, or rather a potential customer, and uh, whom I've made a quote for, um, and uh, well they it, I I think this was my my first Chris official me being a victim of the long emergency Why? because the person wrote me and said i can't we can't afford it uh and they actually mentioned with the economy the way it is where it's going we would like to spend the money and, and just remember you used to talk on about painting you we want to spend it on the kitchen you know right. maybe that was a lie but yeah. but it's like the excuse of yeah well, they, they, you- so i'm being hurt i i might be god knows and 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 I remember telling you this morning, I said, remember I told you, I, I feel both ways. I feel fear and kind of like an immense satisfaction knowing it's going to collapse, you know. But the fear hit me again after that email because I'm gonna, I might get, that guy, the people in Toronto might cancel on me too because I reworked their, their quote and it's not my fault. But materials went up and, and it's at least 30%. Well, it hasn't happened yet because there are various material quotes i'm still waiting and i'm just you know and then i'm wondering how should i should i do it by uh, different material supplier costs and and send them oh by the way this is going instead of or should i send them another quote if i send them a new quote they'll see that whereas before it was like for four thousand dollars of material it might be seven thousand dollars of materials and then if they cancel on me i know it's that's I know that me. I'm officially in a long emergency. That's right. But you won't yeah, be alone, Pierre. First email I, I read, it just dawned on me. I said, fuck, uh, like Dan and you might get work. You know, Dan might see a serious cut in his work, but people still need painting. We talk about that. But gardens, it's my only hope is to get the very rich, you know. But how long is that going to continue, you know? Mm. 
uh, you know, very you know, like but Pierre, you, two years. Like, you won't be I, alone. We're, I'm, you know, I'm now back to the same point I was when I got fired. You know, like mm. I'm like, fuck. Now what do I do? You know. Well, like, cash in your stocks or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's the. But after that, it's like now, now it's like gonna really seriously have to like uh, grow my food or something because. Uh, like computers, no, there's no future there. Any okay. anything in technology, there's no. Well, maybe no you should be. In, you know, it sort of discouraged me after that email, but at the same time, it's like I told you this morning. It's like, and uh, and to so look, I'm a homeowner too, and I. Mm-hmm. And there's another that other customer. Kind of like in his early 60s. I mean, okay. you know, it's it's people have the the. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, well, let's put it this way and let it happen. And, and well, I, I gotta still nurture this and 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 you know whatever. Oh, I'm test driving my new car. <laughs> yeah. He's. Yeah. <laughs> something you mean from the like yeah. do you know what he looks like have you oh boy yeah. he so, might even do it for free you know yeah let's hope so yeah it's it's, it's all fishy you know it's, it's that all fixed mm-hmm. you know